President Uhuru Kenyatta has conferred upon 24 lawyers the rank of senior counsel despite the decision by the Law Society of Kenya to cancel the conferment and ordering a fresh process. LSK President Nelson Havi has condemned the move, terming it the highest level of impunity. Through a press release dispatched by State House spokesperson Kanze Dena, President Uhuru Kenyatta conferred the 24 advocates the rank and dignity of senior counsel. Among those honored is former Vice President Kalonzo Musioka, now Kenya leader Martha Karua, former Director of Public Prosecution Philip Murgo, Deputy DPP Dorcas Odur, Rarieda MP Otiende Amolo, veteran lawyer Fred Ngatia, Waweru Gatonye, and lawyer Kyoko Kilokumi, among others. This latest move has angered the Law Society of Kenya, whose president Nelson Harvey has termed as an indication of the level of impunity they are dealing with. The society's council had revoked the 24 names in May this year and ordered a new process. This decision manifests the impunity with which the administration uh, has uh, taken the rule of law and in particular matters to deal with the justice and the judiciary. We therefore want to call upon the, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya not to include the 24 advocates in the role of senior counsel because they're not senior counsel. LSK argues that the process of selecting the 24 lawyers did not follow the rules and the decision was made by three judges who had been seconded to the recruiting committee. The Attorney General himself never sat in the meetings for the confinement, yet is required to sit there mandatorily. The two of our members who had been seconded to that confinement committee did not sit uh, throughout the proceedings of that confinement committee. Only the 24 names had been selected from 94 lawyers who had applied for the rank of senior counsel. The case over the revocation of the 24 by LSK counsel is in court and is yet to be determined. The recruiting committee which identified the 24 was chaired by Supreme Court Judge Justice Mohammed Ibrahim and the report submitted in August 2019. President Kenyatta's decision has now opened a new battle with the LSK amid the ongoing battle over the 41 judges who President Kenyatta has refused to appoint despite being recommended by the Judicial Service Commission. Vincent Odur, NTV.